So to make this half wig, you're going to need weave of your choice. I'm using Brazilian curly. You're going to need a mannequin head and you're going to need a wig cap. Next, I'm just going to take an old eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to mark the area that I want to cut in order to make the half wig. You can make this as little or as big as you want. Next, I'm just going to measure the area with which I want to start gluing and I do this just so I don't make a mess and once I've figured out the area that I want to start gluing from, I cut the hair and then I go in with my hot glue gun. I like to glue along the tracks as opposed to just uh, gluing from the weak cap. I find it's a lot less messy and I don't burn myself. As I was gluing the hair, the glue kept sticking to the mannequin head and my wig cap so I ended up having to use a plastic bag just so I don't mess up the mannequin head and my wig. I'm just going to keep repeating the steps all over the circumference of the wig and this style you guys is super easy. All you literally have to do is just glue round and round and round. It took me maybe less than an hour to make this wig so it's super easy and it's beginner friendly. Uh, when I get to the front of the hair, I start gluing from the side down as opposed to just going round. It's like you guys can see what I'm doing. I don't go round and round, I just start gluing from the middle, like down the hair. <laughs> I was so worried about the hair not being enough that I ended up leaving a lot of space uh, when I was making the wig. So now I'm just going to go back in and fill up those extra spaces that I left behind with the hair that has been left over. Everybody, 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 just cleaning the hair uh, if you're worried about using hot glue gun for your wig this is what I do I just peel off the glue that has dried in the hair and, and that's it it doesn't stick or anything I just peel off the leftover glue <laughs> So 
now I'm just going to take out the plastic bag and then I'm just going to cut around the line we made on the wig cap earlier. So this is the final result. I ended up adding three clips to the wig for extra security. And I have a video up on how I style this half wig. If you guys are interested, please check it out. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.